Hello, this is Andy Ford Video, and we're going to look at the Wave Warp tool. It's a tool with many uses, and one such use is to make a flag appear to wave in the wind. While it's debatable if this is the best effect to use in this instance, I want to show you how it would be done. First, I have a graphic from Envato Elements of this flag in a desert scene. In Photoshop, I've separated the flag from the background layer, although I've kept some of the rope from the flagpole with the flag. Then I filled in the background behind the flag on the background layer. Once the composition is brought into After Effects, apply Wave Warp, which is in Distort, to the flag layer. Now Wave Type has many selections. Some are very random, like noise. Some are more jagged. And some are more fluid. And for that reason, I use the Sine Wave. You can play around with the Wave Height, Wave Width, Direction, and Wave Speed values until you get a movement to your liking. Then you'll want to set Pinning to Left Edge in this case, because the flag pull is on the left. However, if we zoom in here, we have a slight problem. The left side of the flag is still moving more than we'd like, and it's making our rope detach from the flagpole. What's happening here is Wave Warp is pinning the edge of the layer, not the flag itself. So to fix this, we can pre-compose this flag layer. We can leave all attributes here, name our pre-comp, hit OK. Now if we open up the pre-comp composition, we'll see our flag by itself. And you should take the flag and in this case, drag it all the way to the left of the composition. Now we'll go back to our main composition and put the flag back into place. Note that we still have all our Wave Warp settings on this layer in this composition. And now when we play the composition, we don't see the left side moving anywhere near as much as it was before. So here's a quick look at how Wave Warp could be used to add motion to a flag. Thank you.